okay so today's topic is the transportation in it this is the uh, like you know is a mandatory for that irrespective of whatever you use uh, even um, um integ ewm integration with the tm or uh, without ewm uh, tm so the transportation it is is a very important so you need to both inbound and outbound activities so while unloading you need to assign your warehouse request or inbound deliveries to the transportation unit if it is outbound you know you need to assign all the outbound deliveries assigned to the transportation unit that means don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest sap videos tu can be used both inbound activity as well as outbound activity okay for inbound as you know that and uh, when you receive the inbound delivery inbound delivery having the handling units hu information so you can assign hus or you can assign the uh, even warehouse request you can assign even asm also there are several ways we can assign uh, to use okay and why we need this transportation unit because transportation unit it gives you overall like you know when is a check in when is a check out when is a departure and we can also perform both you can perform even goods received through the transportation unit okay even through the goods um, to you for outbound process we can issue the uh, goods issue from the transportation unit but we have a provision whether you want to do a goods receipt either the transport unit level or like you know while unloading it automatically or at the warehouse request level we have seen even warehouse request level so you can perform goods receipt without unloading you can receive the goods okay for going prdi if is the inbound one for outbound we go for the prdo because we are not started for outbound so we will see outbound but outbound we can also at the delivery level you can do pgi or you can do pgi um, at the transportation unit level okay we will go through today is the uh, uh, transportation for inbound so you will be familiarized how it works for transportation in it okay is what do you mean our transportation in it transportation in it is a like a, is a container okay typically is a like a container just i will bring that something okay so hope you can see my presentation okay it's a simple uh, uh, loaded unit of vehicle is called a transportation in it okay and uh, see one more thing is the uh, transportation it can be but does not need to be part of vehicle okay so then there is no need of vehicle okay so even just transportation in it is more than enough okay to unload it or load the things okay vehicle is not a mandatory okay so if you look at here i uh, shown is uh, like oh, how many to use one to you two to use three to use like that so semi trailer truck with one to you okay the rectangular box where we call it, this is the transportation in it that's what we discuss majority of the time okay this is the vehicle okay vehicle one okay similarly truck with the cargo area trailer one other two two vehicles okay vehicle two having a transportation unit transportation unit and another one is a four wagons in other way around is this is the vehicle but these are the tu1 tu2 tu3 okay so what is the meaning of this one okay so header level vehicle am i right vehicle under the vehicle you can always assign the tus okay tus is not one to you or two to use or four to use anything you can always under the to use but there is no mandatory vehicle okay just to use to you can always create assign to use to so your inbound deliveries okay ibd is can always assign your inbound deliveries or you can assign hus also handling in it every inbound delivery you have hus right so you can assign the hus or you can assign the your delivery okay that's where we do that okay what are the uh, uh, prerequisite for the transportation in it okay see as we discussed last time tu transportation in it like is a container right is a like a container container so this container okay is a, is a, we need to define as a, some kind of packaging material okay container itself as a packaging material we have seen last time uh, how to define a packaging material packaging group packaging material type if you remember uh, we have created one packaging material as a pallet us pallet so 
any packaging material, the concept remains same. Whatever we have done last time, same thing we have to do. That, that means you need to create packaging material as a transportation in it. And again is material, packaging material type. Okay, what is a packaging material type here is a container. Since the transportation in it as a container. So then you need to linkage each other. Okay, that, that's the way we, uh, last time also we have done any packaging material, packaging group and packaging material type. Okay, no matter it is, whether it is a pallets, whether it is a container, whether it is a, okay, um, even any other things. Okay, the concept remains same. What we have done last time in a, in a uh, under the logistic general, under the HU management, where we manage to create a packaging material group and packaging material type. See, similarly for transportation also, we have to define as a packaging material type group and a packaging material type. Then you need to link each other and that's what we have done last. Okay, similarly, we are going to do that. Once we do in a S4 system, that means logistic general, similarly, we have to reflect back to the EWM system. As we said, we cannot transfer the packaging material to directly here. So just we need to replicate that. What we have done is similarly under the cross cross settings under the HU management handling unit, we have, we have also maintained same thing. Packaging material type we define, but we have not defined any packaging material group because we can use same group from logistics, whatever we have done it. So that config we have, we have we have done it last time with the packet. So similarly, as a container, now we the role is important. Earlier we use the pallet, now we use a container. Okay, that's the one uh, uh, requirement we, we need. Right? So that means once you may define that, then what is the once you maintain packaging packaging material group under packaging material type. Okay, group under type, then you need to create a packaging material. That means transportation unit itself is a packaging material. Using MM01, we have to create. That's all we have done last time also. Any packaging material, the concept remains same. Okay, so we will create as a generic uh, uh, packaging material for the transportation unit. That transportation unit packaging material can be used for inbound and outbound process. Both we can use it. Okay, that is a, another um, master data requirement. One is the config. Packaging group, packaging material type as a as a as a uh, container, and uh, we'll we'll maintain same thing EWM, and then we create a material. While creating a material, we need to assign packaging material group and packaging material type. That is a basic coverage under the uh, sales general plant view where we assign that. Okay, if you remember. Okay. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest SAP videos. Okay. Our packaging material group, packaging material type, we will assign under the sales general plant view. Okay. Where we assign even transportation group, even loading group as well. Okay. That is the one requirement we need. What are the other requirements we need to use it? Okay. Other requirement we need to use is like a means of transport. Okay, transport means comes means of transport. Okay, what kind of mode of transport we, we are going to perform? Are we going to use for road, rail, sea, or any other mode in that air? Okay, typically is the road, air, sea, and that, that's a mode of one. Okay, or maybe sometime in you know, a train or something, you know, <clears throat> okay. four modes. So, for example, our case is the means of transport. Means of transport. So we, we consider as a road, assume that we are going to be received as a road, so road. And the means of transport and, um, and another one is uh, uh, important uh, parameter is, once we define means of transport, then what else we need? We need to maintain okay, the relation between the this packaging material and the means of transport, okay? So we need to always link that. Whatever packaging material we define, this packaging material, 